Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's begin today with a one hour time frame because as you can see we are still moving uh, sideways and for me right now it's a no trading zone as you can see although I have here no order entered here on Bybit. I'm still waiting here to what happened next because in my opinion we could also go easily up here to 11,800 retest here the main um, uh, resistance level up here before maybe we continue to the downside so opening a short here or even a long it's quite a risky in my opinion but as you can see we are moving since we had this um, drop here between the point uh, 236 uh, and the point uh, 5 Fibonacci line so we have like a resistance here at 11,500 and 11,280 the support uh, we also had some weeks here to the downside and also to the upside but uh, the market right now is kind of undecisive if it should go to the downside or upside so what I believe is, but this is purely speculation, is that we're probably going to first uh, up here to fill the future gap to 11,800. This is the futures uh, chart. As you can see, we have this new gap over here. And very often we go up to fill first the gaps that we have above of us before we continue to the downside if we are here uh, in a downwards moving uh, uh, trend right now and that's what I believe so I think that we probably from here uh, go first up and then continue to the do downside so 11,950 uh, somewhere around this area here uh, if we don't shoot the straight uh, to the upside uh, if we have resistance uh, around 12k again I'm uh, gonna probably open the next short over there but if we are going first down and maybe fill this gap over here at 10,600 I would look uh, to scale in my longs from here because um, we also have one gap down to 8,400 so we could fall down to that level so if you long from here I would uh, scale in start Starting from this point here if you want to long uh, maybe 10,600, 10k, 9k and so on down to around 8k if we are on the way to that level but I still believe that most likely we're going first up from this point here. If we go back to the bitstamp chart we can look also here at the stochastic and the RSI here in the one hour you see that we are oversold and also the RSI is trading below the 50. So here in the next couple of hours, it looks like that maybe we're going to have another uh, pull back here to the upside, maybe bring the stochastic to overbought and RSI around the 50. We must go above the 50 to have, again, bullish momentum here in the short term. Uh, here in the 4-hour, also stochastic is neutral and RSI below the 50. Also here, everything is possible. We could go easily up or down. The RSI is quite uh, lining up with the 50 level. So here in the short term, it's difficult to say, but I expect it's more likely that we see maybe another push here to the upside, maybe a attempt again to uh, break uh, to the upside. In the daily time frame, it looks, uh, in my opinion, bullish because, uh, as you can see, we have the RSI lining up at the 50. So here we didn't enter into the bearish side here in the daily, and also stochastic is in neutral territory. We also have the, we also have the uh, price uh, almost at the 20 daily moving average, uh, which is around uh, $11,000. So. We didn't test it yet, but probably this line here will hold the price if we see here another push to the downside. Let's see. But I believe that here the 20 and the 50 daily moving average would hold the price at least uh, uh, for now before we could go lower to our target at around 8,400. So that's why I believe that it is very likely that we're going first up here to 11,800 um, before... Uh, we see a continuation of this uh, downwards moving uh, momentum that we have right now. And also here you see that in the 4 hour time frame the 20 moving average is holding a resistance so far. So maybe if we can break here this line, if we break here the 11,400, uh, we could change here the trend, have this push to the upside and then somewhere up here 
get rejected again. So that would end up in kind of a Bart Simpson, inverted Bart Simpson pattern. Let's see what's going to happen. In any case, I would be prepared uh, if you want to long or short. Maybe if, right now, you, if you don't feel confident to open a trade, I would wait, but be sure to get ready as soon as you want to enter the trade. Uh, it must be very fast. Uh, so you can already now open a limit order or go market uh, as soon as we reach one of the two targets. And uh, in my video description, you find the Bybit invitation code where you can get up to $60 for free of... Um, trading money if you want to trade also here on Bybit. That's what I recommend you uh, to do. I prefer this much better than uh, BitMEX so far. All right, guys. And with that said, I'm going to wrap it up. If you like the content, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell, and we see us all in the next one. Bye.